Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. So it's the start of a new year and I've been thinking about making this particular video for a few months now and it's sort of around whether or not you should use DaVinci Resolve as your video editor of choice. Now I transitioned to DaVinci Resolve towards the end of 2018. It's when I started making tutorials. I'll leave a few up above so you can sort of check them out, understand where I was when I switched to DaVinci Resolve. Now, after using it both professionally and sort of for YouTube on the side for the better part of well, over 12 months now, I've come to realize that DaVinci Resolve is really good for a particular people, but not everyone. So that's why we're making this video. It's which video editor should you use in 2020? So for the sake of this video, we're gonna be talking about the three main video editors that the majority of people use. So we're talking Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve 16. And I know there are plenty of other video editors out there like Avid and Filmora, but let's be honest, the main three that people use, especially as hobbyists or you know independent filmmakers are these three. So I started video editing a very long time ago when I was 16, so we're talking over 10 years ago, and I use Premiere Pro. And that's just because at the time that was just what everyone was using. I also dabbled in visual effects with using Adobe After Effects. And that's sort of where I got my passion for creating videos, was especially the visual effects side of things. If you've ever been to videocopilot.net with Andrew Kramer, uh, that's sort of where I started uh, with video editing. And I used that for quite a while. And then over time, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 came out and then I sort of delved into that. And then eventually, you know, you know the end of the story, I transitioned to DaVinci Resolve. But is it right for you? So in my opinion, DaVinci Resolve is really great for people to start, you know, dipping their toes into proper video editing. Definitely for people that say, maybe just editing quick videos on their phone with their GoPros or just filming on their phone, just quickly editing together in like iMovie. I think DaVinci Resolve is a great sort of next step in the sense that it's a free piece of software. It requires no upfront investment to get into. So you can download it right now. I'll leave a link in the description below for free and try it out. So really great for people to sort of just start getting used to video editing. But I find with DaVinci Resolve, there is a very low ceiling in for beginners in the sense that they're gonna hit this ceiling and they're not gonna be able to get much further without the technical knowledge of video editing and visual effects to make the most out of DaVinci Resolve, especially by using you know, like the Fairlight page, the color tab and Fusion, which is inbuilt into the software. So that's where the downside to DaVinci Resolve is for beginners. So I would dip your toes with DaVinci Resolve free. You're not gonna have to pay a cent. My next step from there would be probably, if you're a Mac user, is Final Cut Pro. And the reason being is because Final Cut Pro has a plethora of plugins. Um, incredible, it's the thing I'm most jealous about with using DaVinci Resolve is I don't have access to these plugins. So you can really just create a lot of really cool looking effects, call outs, title animations, just some really cool stuff with very, very minimal effort. So if you're looking to just make some really flashy videos that look really cool, Final Cut Pro is a really great way. It's also super quick and super well optimized on Macs. So, you know, you're gonna be able to run it on low powered hardware. But again, like I'm saying, if you don't wanna delve into the real technical aspects of filmmaking with visual effects and audio editing and that, I think Final Cut Pro is like, is that a perfect middle ground for the majority of people? The issue I always had with it was the fact that I wasn't able to do my hobbyist visual effects in there because it required me having to export. Oh, it just required a lot of hassling about just to get a video file out into a visual effects suite like After Effects or Fusion and work with it. So it was just sort of like, I found that the ceiling for technical people is also quite low. So it's sort of the reverse. So DaVinci Resolve has a low ceiling for beginners because it gets quite hard after that. And Final Cut Pro has a low ceiling for really technical editors because the it is a bit limited in the terms of what you can do without all these extra plugins. Premiere Pro, however, I think is a really great middle ground for the majority of people. So I would probably dabble with DaVinci Resolve, get used to it, and then jumping across into Premiere Pro, you're not gonna find too much different from DaVinci Resolve to Premiere Pro. The NLE editors work identically, 
that is non-linear editors. So the way the timelines work is exactly the same between the two, whereas Final Cut Pro has its own weird sort of magnetic timeline, which you either love or hate. And the reason I say that is Premiere Pro also has heaps and heaps of plugins. You have plenty at your disposal, and that's because it works perfectly with all the other Adobe software packages out there like After Effects and Photoshop and all these other animating software. It's just, it's really awesome that you have access to all those through Premiere Pro, even if it's like, even if you have to open multiple apps at the same time. It's really, really good. Lots and lots of plugins. And I think that's a really great transition is to go from DaVinci Resolve to Premiere Pro because then you sort of get the best of both worlds is you can start to expand your editing capabilities, but you're not gonna be limited by the editor itself. You're gonna still be able to experiment with a lot of technical aspects like visual effects and that sort of stuff in Premiere Pro without needing to really fiddle around a lot like you would with Final Cut Pro. I myself still prefer DaVinci Resolve as an editor. The reason I prefer it over Premiere Pro is purely and simply the speed of the program. I run low powered hardware, and generally edit on laptops most of the time. So having a piece of software that runs really, really well is really crucial for me. And although Premiere Pro and Adobe products are pretty much sort of getting on par these days, I still find DaVinci Resolve blows everything out of the water and I can do things in that program that I just couldn't in the others. And that's sort of why I stick with DaVinci Resolve. I also like the fact that it has the inbuilt visual effects editor fusion inside the software and you get that with the free program. Now, obviously you get extra features if you purchase it and get the pro or the studio version of it, but it's the one purchase price and you get all these extra things. And that's another thing I don't like about the Adobe products, which is the subscription based model. I do use Lightroom and Photoshop, so I already pay for it. But if I was to use all the programs I'd want to, so After Effects, Premiere Pro, I'm looking at pretty much $100 a month, which is nuts considering I spent $400 for doing to resolve. So within half a year, I'm spent more money DaVinci Resolve, you know, after 12 months, I'm, I love editing in there. The things I hate is the fact that there's just not as many plugins, but if you're able to push through the barrier and learn a little bit more into Fusion and Fairlight, you can achieve the same effects. It just might take a little bit longer. It's not as easy as Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro to get the plugins and drag and drop, but that's just sort of my two cents. So if you are looking to get into video editing this year and you're not sure where to start in terms of a video editor because there's a lot out there start with davinci resolve it isn't sponsored it's just a, it's a free piece of software and it's really easy to pick up and it makes sense to me to start with a free piece of software and then move on from there start with davinci resolve if you don't want to do super technical editing and you have a mac i'd go to final cut pro if you don't have a mac then go to premiere pro and then you can just sort of leave it at that and there you are Anyway guys, first video of 2020, just sort of going through my thoughts on sort of video editors and the state that we're in and sort of how I've been for the past 12 months editing on DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you have sort of recommendations or things you wanna learn in DaVinci Resolve, leave a comment down below. Tutorials are coming back. So stay tuned for that.